All the topic turned toward sports today when Erie County officials gave their weekly COVID-19 update. Our Dave McKinley reports on the focus of the future of organized sports locally on both the professional and amateur levels. On the bills and whether or not they play. I think people should truly hope that they just have a football season. Although the county executive seems convinced it will be without fans in the stands as the town of Orchard Park contemplates whether to allow tailgating at private lots near what would be a presumably empty stadium. He says while he hasn't discussed it with town officials in his mind, there should not be mass tailgating and have, with perhaps apologies to the late Jimmy Griffin, order some pizza, buy some beer, do it at your house because I'd rather do that and watch the bills on the field than the alternative, which is no football. And for those who think that that is not a possibility, it is a possibility. As the scheduled debut of the Blue Jays at Salem's Field approaches, he remains confident this can be done. If I felt that this was a danger to our community, we would have said no. But after talks with Major League Baseball officials who say players will basically be quarantined in their hotels when they're not playing at the stadium. We feel confident based on that conversation that we can do this and safely protect our public and at the same time safely protect their players from the public. And finally, when it comes to still shuttered bowling centers reaching the final frame before it's time for fall leagues, Polencar says Keglers can count on him to ask the governor to spare them some consideration. We're working right now with the state on trying to get bowling lanes authorized. Actually, I'm doing a tour soon of a local bowling center to see the protocols that they've put in place. My own argument is I don't see a reason why bowling leagues can't uh, because people are bringing their own equipment. They're bringing their own balls. They're bringing their own shoes. Uh, might be difficult for open bowling. Uh, so what's going to happen and what I've been hearing is New York State is working on the protocols for bowling. And hopefully those will be released soon. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.